My name is Carly Essen Williamson. I am a professor at the Educational Foundations at the University of Saskatchewan. I was born and grew up in Greenland, so I'm Galaluk in that uh, context. Uh, my contribution to this um, agenda in the Arctic is uh, titled Indigeneity, Gender, Violence and Reconciliation in the Arctic. And I grew up in Greenland, born and grew up in Greenland, and uh, uh, very much based on uh, oral traditions uh, because of my uh, two grandmothers, uh, paternal and maternal. And I spent an awful lot of time with my uh, maternal grandmother when I was quite young. Uh, for some reason, I was the one that was sent to to her. And so, so we spent uh, months at a time totally on our own while uh, her youngest son uh, was out hunting caribou with his family. My both grandmothers uh, told me very uh, directly that uh, as far as they were concerned, men and women were equal. And that kind of puzzled me for many, many years because uh, as a, a Greenlander growing up in the uh, uh, 1950s and 60s, we were really exposed to um, stringent uh, assimilation policies through the school system whereby each one of us were to become Danes. And uh, I strived really for that, to, be, to become a, a really wholesome individual that's capable of speaking the Danish language and dream the world of, uh, in, you know, bettering the world around us uh, through that system. It wasn't until I was a young adult with children myself that I realized that I bought into the system that's called binary system, whereby the men were uh, superior, were seen to be superior to the women. And I realized that I was myself very much uh, bought into the system whereby I myself would be actually exposed to uh, uh, becoming less than men around me. And it really irked me uh, to see that I questioned myself, do you really want to become a person who is secondary in the system? And I had to do a, quite a bit of evaluation in that, uh, in that uh, investment that has been made to me in form of the uh, schooling system, but also in form of my uh, cultural background in form of my uh, grandmothers on both sides. So I decided that I was going to look into uh, perspectives on gender and how uh, the um, Inuit uh, that are part of the uh, Greenland Inuit society um, expressed their in actions and thoughts on gender equality, which my grandmothers really wanted to uh, get across to us uh, as we were children growing up. So I used uh, the social science in form of uh, anthropology, social anthropology through the University of um, Aberdeen in Scotland to explore how gender equality is actually expressed today in post-colonial setting in Greenland on how the values and actions and, and thoughts are still remain to be strong in my home community of Manitok uh, in Greenland. That um, balancing act on my own and many others that have adopted that of balancing the, balancing the uh, all traditions with the binary system, which is part of the uh, self-government of Greenland, we had to kind of uh, figure out how we can articulate it. It's not so much uh, as a dividing us to people becoming more Danes, while others are staying more put in the uh, traditional Greenlandic ways of, doing, of, of being, but actually articulating that uh, we were in this situation whereby we used the oral traditions to orient ourselves as far as the cultural identity is concerned, 
while at the same time working perfectly well with the situation of the uh, self-governing institutions that are, have actually been brought in by the binary system whereby men are more prevalently appreciated than, than women. And I think uh, in Greenland, and for that matter, uh, most of the Inuit uh, self-governing organizations are admit that kind of negotiation as to how to put the two systems in a way that's meaningful to the constituents of the Arctic uh, populations that are remaining to use the oral traditions. So I used uh, the uh, social anthropology, the discipline in that, uh, to prove my grandmother's uh, idea uh, that of course they had that long time ago uh, as an oral traditions as to how Inuit uh, are still practicing the uh, gender equality across gender. So for me, I really have been uh, challenging myself on how I can articulate the thoughts uh, in a way that makes it apparent to any of the readers, any of the listeners uh, on, on this uh, knowledge. So for my purposes, I think it's a very much a, a dream situation that really makes me uh, kind of think about uh, how um, policies uh, that are new and coming through the self-governing organizations that rely heavily on the written form from the uh, European context to that of applying that to all traditions, indigenous ways of knowing. And uh, I uh, really like that think piece and hope that others will follow, of course, of using the uh, indigenous language and the dreams of the uh, uh, oral traditions, uh, because these are true to us as much as the um, written form is true to the Europeans. I, I don't necessarily see that they're um, polarized. I very much like to see that there be much more meaningful negotiation between the two systems. Thank you.